Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. This time we're going with the Hoth Soldier, Hoth Rebel Trooper, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, this could be in the running for figure of the year. Um, this looks fantastic. I love some of the stuff they've done with this figure. Um, I did get two and I do have a couple more on the way. So I will have four of these guys. That'll probably be enough, I think. I know you can do like eight different variants of um, of this figure in terms of like changing the accessories around and stuff. So uh, he will also be getting, I didn't mention the Luke in my last review. These will both be getting uh, revisited and repacked into the regular line. So you can get them out of the 40th anniversary packaging and into the new boxes that Hasbro are going out for the next phase of their Black Series line. So again, on the back, just a little bit of bizzo there. Mostly warnings. Um, so yeah, let's get a close-up look at this guy. All right, so here we have the Hoth Rebel Trooper in all their glory. Now this is an absolute standout. This is gotta be the future of army building for characters that can appear differently, like humans. Um, Stormtroopers, doesn't matter, doesn't, no one cares. Um, <laughs> just keep putting the same figure out. This, on the other hand, is incredible what Hasbro's done with this. Um, I'm blown away in person. I was blown away when they made the reveal um, because they quietly made the reveal um, when they first put it out for show early on, earlier on in the year. I can't remember exactly when it was. So we'll start with the sort of stock one that comes in the packaging. Um, now you're meant to be able to get eight different variations, I believe, on this figure with, with two face sculpts and the different accessories. Um, so I've actually taken this one's goggles off. So it does come with the goggles. Um, when I took it off, the elastic sort of, sort of broke. Um, so I've left with this little bit of extra hanging uh, thread. So I will replace that at some point but they did sit around the head like this one here also comes with this sort of uh let's say neck scarf bandana sort of looking thing um you simply pop off the head and have it around the neck otherwise it appears like this one on the left so they both come with with this blaster rifle here and you can't really see but it's kind of that sort of clear gummy looking plastic um, I'll give Hasbro a pass on that one it's a little bit cheap looking um, but because of the quality of the figure um, I'll let that, I'll give them a pass on that one it also does come with this sort of smaller rebel pistol uh, blaster pistol there and that sits in the holster there so that's quite nice but just the details on these figures are just fantastic. Articulation's great. Um, we'll get a look at the backpack here. Now this is where the uh, this is where the action happens. Now what they've done is they've given that a peg. Uh, there are a couple of slots here. This sort of sort of vest at the front it does come around the back, and you've got a couple of little bits here, which sort of are meant to peg into the sides here and sort of wrap around the front, just to give it that look of. Uh, completeness but it it's not perfect um, but what they've done here is they've given us a little hatch in the backpack with the alternative head sculpt included inside <laughs> that's unbelievable that's so damn cool the fact that you can just put that away and not worry about losing it I mean I think most of us that are openers probably do have an accessories box or try and keep them organized we don't just sort of leave them lying around and stuff like that we're mostly pretty good with that kind of thing but as you can see that sort of even to sort of doesn't really peg in um i guess if you get to the point where you decide to settle on an appearance of a figure and you don't really care you you could definitely glue that in um that may be something i do in the future um for now i'm having too much fun with these figures they're so good so we'll get a look at the head sculpts on this one I'll just move that one out of the way so I get a bit of focus here. So as you can see, the sort of hat has sort of popped over the top there. Um, so simply take that off, move that. So you get that, 
that's as simple as it's a little creepy <laughs> um, it's as simple as that pop that face on and I did work out if you actually get the hat and you push it because hot water could definitely assist with this um, and that hides that funny funny line whereas if you sort of put it on yeah it doesn't take much to sort of pop that up but for the most part that looks pretty good I've already seen some people um, doing some customs with existing faces they have um, and they're doing really cool stuff um, with other figures and you know extra Marvel Legends heads and stuff like that so it has popped up again so I may have to tinker around with that myself um, just if we can get that looking flush again but that's cool I really like the look of it also like the uh, little communicator on the on the side there it's just really great details All on the chest rank plaques on the side the belt wrist communicator here too again like I mentioned the holster it's sort of got the moccasin boots as well I really like the uh, that sort of pattern on the pattern on the knees there. Let's get a look at the head sculpt of this guy. So, like I said, I've got the uh, got the bandana on him. I haven't tried sitting it so you can cover his face, but I believe you can. Uh, I've got a little bit of playing around to do with these just to get them how I want them. But again, same way as. Uh, you know, I just showed you with the other figure to swap the face. Um, and I'd love to see Hasbro do this with more sort of army building figures in the future. I think that would be absolutely outstanding. So we'll quickly go through the articulation. He's got a ball jointed head, ball hinge neck, there are lots of movement ball hinge in the elbows he's got the butterfly joints with that nice sort of softer softer plastic on the uh, torso so you can allow for that a little bit of movement there um, it's actually pretty good um, ball hinged elbows so you get nice nice angle of movement there ball hinged wrists torso joint there nicely hidden ball jointed hips again that's sort of seamless there almost it looks really good Double joints in the knees and ball hinge in the ankles. That sweet, sweet rocker joint. If you can, now that it's on camera. <laughs> All right, so there is. I don't know if my camera just stays where it wants to be. Hoth Rebel Trooper from Star Wars: The Black Series. Love to hear your thoughts on this one. These are absolute crack of cracking figures. I really, really like these figures a lot. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be back with some more videos very, very shortly. Until then, may the Force be with you, always.